Somebody said on the ceasefire text line, I don't, I don't know that I necessarily agree with this, says, uh, G.G., more Republicans are agreeing with you regarding expansion. We all know we can afford it. We all know our people need it and our economy will benefit from it. Politicians need to listen to the people. I want to make it clear. I, I'm not doing a promotion here for Medicaid expansion. I'm simply saying that there's a problem. And to ignore it and say there's not a problem, well, that's not true either. But it's also, I think as you said, it's not true to say, oh, we'll just bring Medicaid expansion in, which is what Brandon Presley's saying, and change the person at the top of Medicaid. Problem solved. No, yeah, that's not true either. The, the big elephant in the room is if you are someone who is just waltzing into an ER knowing good and well you can't afford it and you're not going to pay a dime, what incentive do you have to jump through the hoops of getting signed up for a government program? I, I'll be honest with you. Not only do I agree with you on that that uh, well-constructed point, Rhino, I think one of the biggest problems we'd have if we expanded Medicaid is getting people to sign up for it, period. Meaning they – so let's be clear. Signing up for Medicaid doesn't mean they start sending you money to buy insurance. It doesn't work that way. In fact, it doesn't cost a dime until you go see a doctor. You receive some services that are reimbursable under Medicaid. But look at it this way: you you go you on one side, you go to the ER without a dollar to your name or in your pocket, knowing you're going to be serviced. Yep. Or you can go to Medicaid, get signed up, and then when you show up, you got to pay three dollars, ten dollars for got a copay. Yeah, right, little copay. Yeah, I so I if agree. you already can't afford it to the point where you're willing to steal services from someone why on earth would you spend any money at all to get the same service I, I especially agree. when you add the hoops of jumping through to get it it's estimated that there are some 50,000 people in the state of mississippi right now under traditional medicaid who are eligible and they're not enrolled because they don't even know it exists 